This is part 33 of AngularCRUD tutorial. In this video, we will discuss how to pass data from the parent component to a child component using input properties. So, let's understand this with an example. At the moment, we are on the list route and we see list of employees. List employees component is the one which is displaying these employees. So, if we take a look at the list employees component, notice we have this property employees which is an array of employee objects and within the ng on init lifecycle hook we are calling the employee service this service returns an array of employee objects which we are storing in this property and then within our view template we are looping over the array of employees that we have and then this html right here is displaying the employee photo the gender date of birth and the rest of the fields so this list employees component is kind of doing three things. It's responsible for calling the Angular's employee service to retrieve the employee's information. Within the view template, we are looping over the array of employees that we have. And it is also responsible for displaying employees information. Now what we want to do is offload this logic of displaying each employee information to another component. So let's go ahead and create that component first. I'm going to use Angular CLI to generate our new component. If you're new to Angular CLI, I strongly recommend to check out our Angular CLI course. I personally think every Angular developer should know how to use Angular CLI so we can be as productive as possible. And here is the command to generate our new component, ng for Angular CLI itself, G for generate, C for component, and I'm going to name our component display employee. And let's place this component in our existing employees folder. So I'm going to prefix it with the folder name. We want this component to be generated flat in that folder, so I'm using the flat option. Let's also use the no spec option so we don't have the unit test file generated. There we go. All the required component files are created and the root module file, app module, is also updated. Now notice within the employees folder, we have our display employee component. Let's open the view template. Now what we want to do is move the HTML that displays the employee information like the employee photo, the agenda, date of birth, etc. from our list employees component to display employee component. And within our list employee component, here is the HTML which displays employee information. So I'm going to cut this HTML from our list employees component and then paste it within our display employee component. Notice here we are binding to the employee object to display their name, photo, gender, etc. So we have to pass this employee object from our parent component, list employees, to this child component, display employees component. So to make that happen, we are going to include an input property within the component class. Let's name the property employee. And the type for this is going to be employee. We don't have this type imported yet, so let's include the required import statement to import it. And this is going to be input property. So I'm going to decorate this with at input decorator. We don't have this input type imported. So let's import it from Angular core. Now the parent component can bind to this input property and pass the employee object to this component. And look, our component has the selector app dash display dash employee. Let's use the selector to nest this component within list employees component. Now we want to bind to the input property. And remember the input property name is employee. So let's bind to this property. Since it's a property binding, we are including the property name within a pair of square brackets. And to this input property, we want to pass the employee object that we are looping over. So let's pass that employee object. Let's save all our changes and then take a look at the browser. It displays this site can't be reached. That's because our server is not running. So let's run our server. There we go, we have our data displayed, but the employee images are way too big. So let's fix the height and width. Notice within our display employee component view template, 
on this development which displays the employee photo we already have a class called image class and if we take a look at the style sheet of our list employee component notice we already have that image class here and we have set width to 200 and height also to 200 so we need these two classes within the style sheet of our display employee component so let's cut these styles from here and paste them within the style sheet of our display employee component save all the changes and then take a look at the browser notice now we have the employee photos properly displayed we still have one more small issue here we are using bootstrap panel to display this employee information at the moment this bootstrap panel is not properly formatted and that's because we still have two more classes left within our list employees component so these two bootstrap classes panel and panel primary we need to move them to the display employees component so within our display employee component let's include a div element here and then include those two classes on that div element and let's move this closing div to the end let's save all our changes and then take one final look at the browser there we go. Notice now we have data displayed exactly the same way as before. At the moment, we are using parent child components. Our parent component is this list employees component. So within our parent component, we are calling the Angular employee service and then looping over the list of employees that we have. And then as we are looping over, we are passing each employee object to the child component, which is this display employee component and to pass the employee object from this parent component to the child component we are using this input property in our upcoming videos we will discuss how to pass data from the child component to parent component using output properties so to create an input property simply decorate the corresponding property with at input decorator we use input properties to pass data from the parent component to child component we can intercept and react to input property changes. There are two ways to do that. We'll discuss both of them in our next video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.